Arizona head coach Andy Lopez is back in the CWS final series. It's been 20 years since Lopez won a CWS crown with Pepperdine, but now in 2012, a title may even mean more to him as his two sons, Michael and David, join him on the Wildcats roster. That has been a blessing, and I never understood it. I, I shied away from coaching him only because I, I just didn't know how it would work. So far, it's worked out pretty well for Lopez. His oldest son, Michael, is a redshirt junior pitcher, and his youngest son, David, is a redshirt sophomore second baseman. The young men have been traveling with their father for years. They were even bat boys for Arizona's CWS trip in 2004. I mean, I enjoyed it, but I didn't really know much of it because I was just a back in there now. You know, I'm a player, so there's a little more, a little more going into it now. Happy for my dad, happy we could be a part of it as players, uh, that we could be part of the team that got back here. So, uh, I don't know, really cool experience, something I'm really going to appreciate later on in life. Lopez is in his 24th season of coaching Division I baseball, and with all the games and all the travel, it was a challenge watching his sons grow up. I have seen my sons on a baseball field more in the last four years than I saw them combined in their previous 20 or 18 years or whatever. I mean, you know, when I was busy, they were playing. When they were playing, I was busy. I never saw them. This year, the Lopez's have built memories that will last a lifetime, and it could be the last time all three are together on the diamond. This is my last year of, of ever playing this game, so I mean, I'm, I'm trying to enjoy the most of it, not only with, uh, with my dad on the team, but, but with my little brother. For him and my mom, they're both like, wow, this is crazy, you know, like, you know, bringing them here as kids, and now they're on the team with them. Uh, that's something very cool for them. The Lopez family, along with their Wildcat teammates, hope that they can bring home the school's first CWS title since 1986. You know, it would be really nice. I'm not going to lie. Shoot, it would be great. Uh, it would be a, a, a sweet thing to remember. Covering the College World Series in Omaha, Dave Falzine, 1011 Sports.